welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look right here I wanted to create something using my Tarte Pro and I miss this color a lot it's handwritten by Mac so I wanted to use that that's basically why I wanted to do this tutorial I just wanted to use this I love this product like even some of the lightest colors in here are so blendable and you can build them up so well so if I ever go on a vacation or when I do go on my vacation, I'm definitely taking this. But yeah, I just wanted to basically catch up with you guys and film a makeup tutorial because I haven't filmed something in for so long. And I just wanted to film makeup because I kind of felt like I fell off of the bandwagon and I just forgot how to blend. I just forgot everything. So I just wanted to recreate a look. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys... Um, enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys all in my next video bye guys okay so starting off I'm just going to use my Mac Studio Fix Fluid in NC 30 I did not realize how pale I was but yes it is winter time so you do get a little bit paler so I'm just going to use this I already have moisturized my face with my Pond's lotion next moving on I am using another MAC product and this is an NW20 and I'm going to use this concealer just to highlight I always dab it on first with my fingers and then kind of blend it out with the brush I'm just going back and forth so I get no creases okay and once that's blended out I'm going to use my banana powder Oh, sorry, I'm still blending it out. I'm using the other brush that I placed my foundation on with. Now, using my real techniques, I'm going to use the banana powder to set everything underneath the eyes. This is what works best for me. And then moving on to the eyes, I am going to um, go ahead and prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And then, of course, like I mentioned before, I'm using my Tardius Pro. And I'm going to use the first color that I pointed to and I have will have all the products listed down below I'm just going to blend that into my crease bringing it up to my brow bone but not on my brow bone and I'm just going to blow it out and blend it as much as possible Okay, now that Innocent is blended out, I'm going to grab Innis, oh sorry, Profesh, and it's just a darker gray, but it's really light. But I noticed as I built it up that it was so buildable and blendable. I absolutely love these colors, and if there's one palette that you can take on the go, vacation-wise, anything, definitely take this. So I'm just going to blend that into my deeper crease so I can have more depth in there, but I didn't want to go too dark because I'm going to be using another color. Um, yeah, just go ahead and blend that out. Then I'm going to go into, this is Glam, and I'm just going to place that all over my lid. So I keep placing that on, and then afterwards I just use my finger because they use, I guess the pigments or the pigmentation of these works best with your finger. And then I'm going to move on. I'm using a matte color and handwritten. It's just like this deep chocolate brown. And I'm going to just put that on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to keep putting it on, kind of blending it out, which you don't really see a lot. But dabbing it on, blending it out, and then you will see me blending everything else. And then I go in with my L'Oreal Linear Intense liquid eyeliner and I go ahead and just give me a winged line I went ahead and placed my lashes off of camera and I just use Coco and Soho eyelashes and then right here I'm just going to contour and bronze with my NYC bronzer like I said I will have everything listed down below if you want to go ahead and read through that so I'm just going to contour and just give my face a little bit of depth Okay, 
once I am all done and set with contouring, I am going to move on to blush. I didn't use any highlighter today because this blush kind of has like a sheen in it and I absolutely love it. This is MAC style blush. It's just, this has been one of my favorites since I found my friend. She was wearing it and I'm like, what blush are you wearing? And she was like, MAC by and MAC style. So yeah. Okay, sorry. Moving on. I am using Mod and Drama mixed together and I'm just going to place that on my lower lash line and just blend it out so it's kind of like smoky. And then I do the same thing on the other eye and then I move on to my lower lashes. I'm just going to place my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara as always. And then onto the lips. I do have two lip options. This one is the first one. This is Kat Von D in Bow and Arrow. I just place it over my chapstick, which I really, really like. And then, of course, I'm using my setting spray by Gerard Cosmetics. Okay, and for the second option, I just went ahead and used Plum Crazy by Gerard Cosmetics. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. This is video. Is that a picture? Look at your laser tail. <laughs>